please give a nice Boulder Comedy Show welcome for our debut tonight. This is Rachel Weeks, everyone. Here she is. to be the Lola Bunny of this tune squad, you know? <laughs> it's a real fuckable rabbit, right? What What was it about the 90s that we were like, yeah, I fuck a rabbit. Like, we, like Lola Bunny, the Playboy Bunnies, Buster from Arthur, you know? Like, what are we doing? What was with the rabbits? It's dumb. Uh, I just moved here. From Des Moines, Iowa. I moved to Denver recently. Wow, good slow, slow clap for Iowa. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> it's weird that I decided to move to Denver though, because I was really scared of drugs for a long time. Like, did the Dare program really work on anybody else? <laughs> like, super. I was so scared of them. I was like, there are four drugs, right? Lung drugs, nose drugs, arm drugs, and one of them has a spoon, and they're all terrible. Like, that was my whole understanding of drugs. I didn't get it. And I thought, like, marijuana was the worst drug. Because they really pushed, like, the gateway drug thing, you know? Like, one blunt was the key to a prison yard of ne'er-do-wells, right? Just huffing spliffs and sword and needles. I didn't know what was going on. You know, I didn't get it, what was going on back there. I was so scared of drugs for a really, really long time. Like, those commercials were crazy, right? Like, I was so scared of drugs because I didn't want to disappoint my dog. <laughs> you guys remember that commercial? There's a kid from high school smoking a blunt, and the dog says, you disappoint me. <laughs> Fuck that dog, right? What? <laughs> You're supposed to love me unconditionally, not judge me for smoking a blunt to get through high school. Fucking dog. I have to square dance with a limp-handed pervert today. Give me this! <laughs> Fucking cartoon dog. You know? <laughs> Dumb. Uh, I'm in Denver. I'm trying to date. It's the hardest thing I've ever tried to do, right? <laughs> It's like trying to play Where's Waldo if you have no idea what Waldo looks like. <laughs> Tell me it's different. Tell me we're not doing that. Like, you don't know his name is Waldo. You don't know he likes photography. You don't even know if he's in the goddamn picture, okay? It's a nightmare. Like, it's like playing Where's Waldo if you had to personally interview every person at that mall or beach or medieval castle, like one by one, including the three guys who are just inexplicably in bear suits, right? Like, what are those guys doing there? I dated a couple of them, whoops. I dated a guy who I broke up with because he said he was a bird guy. Right? Everybody agrees that that's the biggest red flag you've ever seen, right? It's a huge, huge red flag. But then I dated a guy who used to steal ketchup packets from McDonald's to fill up his bottle at home. Yeah, what kind of evil monster genius was I dating? It's weird. Dating's weird. Dicks are weird. Let's just talk about it right now. They're weird. What's going on there? They're like inside out vaginas. I don't know. What happened? Did you get your arm caught in a jacket sleeve? What is that? What is going on? I don't think that God made men first and then made women from, gun, from man's rib. I think God made a bunch of women. Fisted all of them. And then got stuck half the time. Dicks, what is it? That's what we did. But God doesn't make mistakes. So we tucked a little fleshy bean curd back there, called it good. It's fine, vaginas are weird too. They're, we're all confused about them. Everybody thinks the hymen is like the seal on a Pringles can. Like, that's 
not what that is. When did we decide that? Who is like, yeah, I'm medically sound. <laughs> like, I thought that having sex the first time was gonna be like a puncture wound. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not like put straw through a Capri Sun wrapper, okay? You're gonna be okay. <laughs> It's more like the Millennium Falcon flying through a tunnel. Like, you're gonna knock some shit off, but it's gonna be fine. Okay? You're not gonna tear anything. <laughs> it's a real weird joke. I'm glad you guys are on board. Uh, I never know. It could go really south. Um, I feel like the people that get uncomfortable during those jokes are like the Ugh, guys, you know? You know, just purely guttural, like those type of dudes. Uh, like the kind of guys who are like, yeah, I scored with a chick last night. I fucking scored. You're like, oh man, was she goaltending? Yikes. Because if you find a woman who is actively defending her vagina against you, get out. <laughs> no, you are not wanted there. Remove yourself from the situation. You want a vagina with like a Walmart reader, right? I'm so happy to see you. Come on in, come on in, right? How many stores have you visited previously? <laughs> All right, that many. Let's go ahead and get you a bag, right? Uh -huh. Don't want you leaving anything behind. No, no, keep that to yourself. <laughs> You finding everything okay? <laughs> Are you finding everything okay? <laughs> what you're looking for is an ILG. <laughs> Towards the front. <laughs> Top shelf. That's where that's at. All right, guys, that's at the end of my time. Put your hands together for Brent Gill and this awesome show. Thanks so much for coming out. I've been Rachel Weeks.